Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Agrimet Sub Research Company and I'm here to teach you how to show and how to display a number of points that you have latitude and longitude of them on your uh, ArcMap interface and uh, on ArcMap window. And what is uh, what this is used for? Um, maybe you ask? I want to answer this way. I use this method specifically when I want to understand where are my hydrometry uh, stations, where are my wells or other point sources in order to understand the configurations and you know features of my subbasins and basins in my SWAT project. So I'm using this method um, for that purpose. So what you should have is that uh, you have an Excel file. You have an Excel file that has these columns latitude, longitude, and station. For example, here it is my hydrometry stations in uh, Iran, in, in a, in a, in a sub-base in, in Iran. So, you have this Excel file. When you have um, prepared this Excel file, you need to make two other columns named UTMX and UTMY. And how to convert this latitude and longitude to UTMX and UTMY? It's so easy. You just need to search it latitude and longitude conversion to UTM and click on the first link. And there you go. You just want to select map data, which is for my case, it's WGS84. And latitude is, for example, this one and longitude is this one and you convert it and here you can find it it's on north hemisphere and it's zone 40 is right and the name if you can see it's area and here i have it area it's, it's the name of that station. So it's um, understanding that correctly. Then I use the easting um, UTM. I, uh, I uh, copy it and paste it here. And this one again. And if you have very um, too many points that you want to make the conversion there are some excel files that have these um, codes on um, that you can copy and paste a lot of uh, points and just click on conversion and there you have the results you should just search and find it it's not a very um, rare thing you can find it in the web so i just copy and paste it convert it and here i have utmx and utmy i go for the next station and i will come back to you when i have done all the cells so I'm back and I have this file right now. The next step you want to do is to transform this format of Excel to DBF file. So I go right into the web and write Excel to DBF. Um, that's here. Open the first link You have it right there, okay? And it says choose file to convert to DBF 
and you just go to okay and choose it convert and it's converted down there download it and you have it here Okay, I just copy it to my um, folder. Oh, I'm sorry. That's it. Okay, then go back to your ArcMap window. And here you should uh, open your swap project in order to understand where are those points on your swap basins. Okay, I just open my swap project. Then you should open the DBF file format that you've just prepared. Edit. Here, right click on that and click on display XY data. You can see that X field is UTMX and Y field is YUTM. If it's on that um, settings, don't change it. Then click don't uh, change any other default settings. Click on OK. You can see your data points are added there. Then uh, if you want to see where are those points um, on the subbasing settings and you want to see which point belongs to which subbasing, then you should do other things. For example, you go, you go to Watershed, this place, right click on that, go to Properties, Um, on labels segment, label field should be subbasin. Then you can um, make the font size bigger in order to see it more, more clear. Then click apply and OK. Then right click on that again, click on label features. You can see that um, you can see the number of uh, subbasings there. This is number, uh, this is subbasing number two, but where is the borders? You cannot see the borders of your subbasins right now. Because of that, click on this um, icon here. Outline width should be thicker. So, click on OK, and then click on this box and uncheck Full HRU. Then you can see clearly which points belong to which subbasin. For example, if you right click on Book 1 Events and click on Open Attribute Table, then you can see that area Charbok station belongs to subbasin number four or Cheshme Ali hydrometry station belongs to subbasin number 14. This is a very simple um, thing to do, but in the same time, very important in order to understand the configurations and understand the settings and understand the point sources, outlets, and all other things in your study area, in your subbasin, and in the whole, it helps you understand the whole subbasin better. I hope this is a helpful video 
and uh, I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to this channel in order to um, notify when the new videos come up. Thank you so much. Bye.